Hello everyone. Welcome back to TechTech.com. So before we start, here uh, we have one important topic to understand to well understand the further topics, which is uh, functional dependency. Okay. So functional dependency is something like it's what it says is it's a relationship among the attributes. Okay. We denote functional dependency as a determines b. We pronounce it as a determines b, and it represents the relationship among the attributes. Okay, so it says a can uniquely determine b. What do we mean by saying this? Let's understand it with an example here. We have a database of student which has uh, we are storing roll number, name, and CGPA. Okay, so if I ask what is the CGPA of a, can you answer? No, because we have two A's here, right? We have two A's. Fine. So the person doesn't know that uh, uh, which A's CGPA has been asked. So uh, you have to find out a way. Like you will ask, okay, which A? We have two A's. Give me the roll number, something like that. So we have to have something which can uniquely determine the next attribute so if i ask somebody that what is the cgpa of roll number 4 r4 so then you can determine like yes r4 the roll cgpa is 9.1 is an intelligent guy so uh, well uh, here we can say that uh, the the cgpa can be determined with the roll number okay so it means the roll numbers are uniquely associated with CGPAs and we can say that roll number can determine CGPA. Okay. Similarly, we can also say that roll number can also determine name. So this is these are what we are saying. In short, we are establishing relationship between the attributes, and this is called our functional dependencies. So every time it is not possible to draw a table and tell you uh, and uh, proceed further while studying the topics. So in further lectures we will be uh, using uh, or we will be representing the relationship at among attributes by this and this is uh, very useful so all the next topic will use this functional dependency okay so i hope you understand it uh, if you have any doubt or still you have confusion uh, it will be clear in the further lectures but for now it's enough uh, to understand thanks for watching